Blessings Trinity, week number seven. Well done. Thank you parents, students, faculty, and staff for your excellent efforts as we continue to forge ahead in our learning. We were so encouraged on Monday evening to be underneath the lights in the courtyard to be blessed by Parent Teacher Fellowship. They fed us and had wonderful information to share. And Mr. Whitebro was our first guest speaker for our very first Trinity U of the year. And he spoke to what's love got to do with it, defining classical Christian education. If you missed it, you will want to catch it online. You will be blessed. Also this week, we had nine Trinity sports practicing on our campus and at our various fields from grammar school to rhetoric school. And they actually got to use balls. So that was encouraging. Their accuracy might've been a little bit off, but they'll catch up. Also, we continue to be hopeful and encouraged by the direction our school is going as our students move forward and so does our school. We continue to be prayerful and praise the Lord for his steadfast and his provision over our school as he guides us in our next steps. And I was reminded on Monday as we sing our doxology and do our catechism every Monday that that would be a good thing to share for all of us to be reminded of. Don't worry, I won't sing it. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. From all that dwell beneath the skies, let the creator's praise arise. Let the redeemer's name be sung through every land by every tongue, amen. And we can, we can praise the Lord in all things. We will trust him and we know that he redeems all things and I, he will redeem all of this and we will trust and praise him. So air fives, air hugs, see you soon. <laughs>